the legal advice, the legal counseling, the going to court, that was what the lawyer did. And okay. that's what I did in the law firm. So I kind of felt that I was doing almost community policing inside a criminal defense law firm, helping people basically through the situation. But the lawyer was the one that was going to court and the lawyer was fighting to basically get them justice or to get the case either reduced or dismissed or dropped right. to basically help them live a normal life after that arrest. Wow. There's a lot that goes into it. Oh, my God, yes. Well, well walk me through. You know, um, I am curious. You did you did mention about people getting arrested for, for drunk and drunk. What happens when, when, you, when a police officer grabs somebody and they're, you know, DUI? What are some of the things that happen? You know, maybe we can stop people from drinking and driving. Who knows? You know, the sad part right now is, is that there's an increase for this year specifically, 2024, yeah. And a lot of deaths that are taking place on the roadways. Right. Now, when it's very, very hot out, which is a very hot summer, Sure. I don't believe the cars are working properly. I don't no. think people are thinking straight. Maybe right. the air conditioning is not working. They're heated. They're not in the right state of mind. Exactly. So from normally, it's like Memorial Day to um, to Labor Day. Yeah. They basically say it's about 100 days that is the deadliest days for you to be on the roadway. Okay. Recently, there's a, another person I know that uh, their brother was walking on the street. It was late at night. There was a drunk driver. He got killed the other day, and they have a funeral, I think, it's tomorrow. Yeah. So the problem is, like, how do you prevent this? How do you stop this? Right. I, mean, I think it's difficult in any city whatsoever. Yeah. But specifically in Las Vegas, right? They're giving out alcohol, right? Oh, yeah. Here, here you go. You got a slot machine, right? Yeah. Would you like a beer? Yeah. Would you like? I mean, yeah. it doesn't even cost you any money. No, no. So I do believe it's more of a problem in Las Vegas, which sure. concerns me for my family, for my children, for my wife, for myself. For my parents and for everybody out in Clark County, the problem basically is is that alcohol is just so freely available. Right. And you don't even have to pay for it. No. Even if you go to a 7-Eleven or a gas station when you drive your car, yeah. if you sit down at that slot machine, you're offered a drink. Oh, you are? Because so basically they'll give you a free beverage or something like that at a 7-Eleven, right? <laughs> they have slot machines. Or I'm learning something new. <laughs> or video poker, they'll, they'll provide a drink. So wow. it's, it's a problem. Yeah, it is. Um, in regards to gambling and drinking. And so now we have marijuana, which is That's basically even legal. More. <laughs> Your new 7-Eleven that didn't work out well is now a dispensary. Oh. Yeah. So now some people say, well, when you're smoking marijuana, which yeah. I'm not a marijuana smoker, but no. that you're more going to be mellow and you're not going to want to yeah. drive. But I don't believe it's helping our community. No, no. By having marijuana legal, right. by having um, alcohol legal, you know, it's, yes, it's our right to basically have and ingest these things.